Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to MTV again. Um, we have a new guest in the studio. Um, the name is Aslam Muddin, um, the community activist. And he's also I specialize in charitable organization settings. Um, I think we're facing a new challenge in the UK and around the world. And I think this will be very interesting for people who are wants to organize, start an organization or running an organization. I think it will be very fruitful to everybody. Um, Aslam Bhai, welcome to our MCD. Nice to have you, Thank you for inviting me. You know, you've been uh, doing a lot of uh, charity organizations, setting up them and doing policies for them. And this is your field, you've been able to do these and that field yourself. Um, what kind of stuff do we think is so important to start a new organization in the beginning? What would you do? Well, if you say uh, for a new organization, there's so many things to think about, actually. You've got to have your aim and objective correct. Okay? Aim and objectives are not just to put in the paper out of our second constitution. It's, it's the thing you really want to do. Okay? And you need a delegate of people who are really patient about the objective, patient about doing some kind of uh, positive work in the community, and very patient about being a change in the community. You need a group of people, delegated group of people. This is the first minimum thing you need to have the first in place. If you have some of the people, they want to do something about it and they started something and then later on realize, oh, this is not the field for the number of experience and then they will give up. So, so what would you look for? Say you're looking for a few people, what, yeah. what, what kind of stuff they should look for in those specific pairs of those people? The very thing is a team of people actually um, who will have some patience and they really want to do something in the community. And second thing, they have some, they have some skills actually. Okay? A uh, lot of organizations are run, uh, let me say, we call them trustees. In charity terms, we call them trustees, or management board, whatever it is, but in general, we call them trustees. Okay. People think, okay, just having a management board and you can do things uh, the way you want to. But the way I see is, uh, although it might not be a paperwork job, but it should be treated as a, as a job actually. Every people who are included in the board, they have to have some kind of quality that they can contribute to us. No point just being a board member if you can't contribute to us. You might be an accountant, so at least you can, be, you can look out the finance side. Okay. And you can, uh, you can ensure the board that you're going to be uh, looking after finance according to the charity commission requirements. So that's one of the things done. You might, have, you might want to include another board member who's got some experience in fundraising. So you can leave the fundraising area and bring some uh, funding to do the charity. These are the quality you should, uh, people should look for. So minimum how many people you need to start well, there's no, I mean, uh, if you are looking for charity requirements, minimum two, three, two to three people, that's it. you can start a relation. But obviously, the better team you have, the more achievement you 